Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright, now let's see Michael go up against Karol. Michael is much more experienced than Karol as far as I know. Karol is not very polished in his techniques. He doesn't have as much experience in combat sports, so this really will go as an advantage to Michael. Michael has the upper hand here. Karol does have one thing that for him, which is he's not afraid of contact. From what I've seen, he likes going forward. He's not afraid to get hit, which is really important. In the long run, that makes a humongous difference. Just the willingness to go forward, to be alright with getting hit. Although he still has that, as you can see, he has this natural instinct to look away when punches come his way. That is completely normal until you manage to eliminate that habit through training. Good combinations there by Michael. Michael keeps a proper boxing guard up there and does throw some nice combinations there. It's good. A couple of good left hooks there. With that longer reach and more polished form, Michael has an enormous advantage here. Yeah, I see that Karol has a very hard time figuring out how to get in there, but he does try though. Michael stays on the orthodox stance with the lead hand being the left and just waits a little bit more and throws those longer hands. That was a good hook there. Yeah, look, Michael landed a couple of clean punches in this round. I give it to Michael. That was a good couple of punches there. That lead left hand that Michael has gives him a big... There we go. And he threw the hook there that didn't... That one might have grazed. It's hard to tell from these angles, but those, those long left hooks, they're pretty dangerous. Okay, let's go for round two now. I give the first round to Michael. With that leading hand, he did connect a few good punches. Again, again that left leading hand. That was a good punch there, actually, by Karo. He did he did touch Michael's face. There we go. Yeah, what what Karo has to try to do is slip through Michael's punches and with his own left hand cut him off. Of course that is easier said than done. But you want to cut off the opponent's jab with your own jab to the body or face, which takes practice. And the experience difference here goes in favor of Michael. There you can see Michael is controlling the distance better in this round. They, whenever Karol tries to go in close, they end up entangling each other. Okay, Michael stepped to the side better there. Better footwork. Good punch there. This is light contact, so it's not necessary to go full force. As long as the punch comes in cleanly, that's a point. That was a good movement. There, Michael had thrown a couple of good punches there. Switching from a jab to a hook. Yeah, he, Michael landed a few good punches here. I'm gonna give this round to Michael. I don't know what the judges, that was another good jab up there. This is simply a difference of, of that was a good effort there by Karo, pushing and shuffling forward. But I think Michael scored a lot more 
cleaner, longer punches here. Some of his punches are not so clean, but that was a clean one there on the body and then that hook there also. Sometimes the punches are not so evident, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, Michael has a more polished form there with the punches. Those longer reaching punches. They're clearer to see for the judges as well. So I would give this this both rounds to Michael. Okay, I'm surprised we're going to an extra round here. As I saw more cleaner, that was a good punch there by Karol. I saw a lot more cleaner punches by Michael. But again, the judges, they have a different perspective from where they are than me watching this on video. Okay, Michael tried to throw a small combination there, but missed. It's getting a little bit dirtier now. And they're probably both a little bit more tired. There's another one. Cattle does occasionally land a good solid punch in there actually through a counter or a slip. So you should never underestimate the underdog even if the technique level is different. Okay, I think Michael is a little bit tired here. So he cannot keep the distance as he did on the other two rounds. This will be interesting. I can't, I don't know who got this one. This last round was a little bit dirtier. Yeah, actually, Kato landed a few good shots to the head and to the body here. This is gonna be tough. Let's see what the judges say. If I go by this round alone, I would actually say that Kato win won this one. I think just Michael was just tired. Michael won I th from the first two rounds, but this last round, I'm not sure.